many people, if they want to become relevant in the society, they attack Imam Babali or people like Imam Babali. So it is high time for me to be matured enough to respond to people who deserve to be responded to. Because Gambia being a small society, we all know ourselves, we know each other very well, and we know the struggles of popularities in our society. And to use Imam Babali, that can earn them what they need. I want to say a few words here. Number one, Gambia is not an island. Gambia is part of the world community. And Gambia is a signatory and member to all institutions, including UN Human Rights Commission, including United Nations, including Commonwealth, including uh, AU, including uh, ECOWAS. And all these institutions have their membership and their quality. Do you or can you ask the Saudi National Human Rights Commission mm. to withdraw simply because in the UN there are people who advocate rights for others that we are not compatible with? Do you ask the Gambia as a government, as a conservative country, as a predominantly religious country to withdraw their membership from ECOWAS? Do you? No. Do you ask them to withdraw their membership or resign from AU because of AU is a signatory to certain conventions which are not compatible with our countries and our norms? So here, some are asking Imam Babali to resign from the National Human Rights Commission today and only today. Forgetting Imam Babali was an activist, a right activist, a human rights activist for the best part of his life since in the 80s when Imam Babali became a member of the Bafro, an organization that fight for the right of women. Up to 1986, when Imam Babali became a founder member of Gamco tribe, struggling with them, fighting for the right of those who are voiceless, speaking for those who have the opportunity to speak for themselves, speaking for women who are mutilated for traditional reasons, Baba was there fighting for them. Baba was there fighting for those who are arrested illegally, without due process, tortured, some killed in those days, till Baba himself become a victim of what he believed in. He was not asked at that time to resign because there was nothing lucrative for Baba to be forced to resign. Baba was fighting for those people till Baba become an exile, an asylee in a foreign country for the reason of what he believed in and what he was fighting for. Today, Baba is asked to resign from National Human Rights Commission because Baba become an imam and a commissioner. What a jealousy is that? What selfishness is that? What ignorance is that? And you have Muhammad Saudi in the National Human Rights Commission in Saudi Arabia as a Muslim who pray far more than what I pray, who believe in Muhammad far more than me. Nobody asked him to resign. You have many Muslims all over the world as human rights activists. But unfortunately, it came from somebody who I dearly respect, who I dearly believe is educated, who I dearly believe is well-connected internationally, who knows what is happening all over the world, asking me today because I'm a Muslim. Forgetting that all organizations need somebody who represents the word of the Almighty God in their organizations to enlighten when it is needed, but to preach when preaching is needed, but to call for mediation and reconciliation of mankind as brothers, as one family, when needed. And the Gambia and Gambians and our parliamentarians feel there is nobody who qualifies more than Imam Babali. I was elected, selected, crucified. Am I qualified to run this position? The whole country say yes. I become a member of the Commission of National Human Rights in the Gambia. One individual, so unfortunate, whom I have nothing in common, 
to fight, whom I have nothing in common to exchange words, asking Imam Baba Lee to resign from this important commission, a commission where I feel I can help my nation, but I can help uh, uh, human life, but I can help everybody who needs my help. Here I am, I'm just coming from Diabugu Batapa, CRR, working hard day and night on the very hot sun to make sure families and brothers see, are sharing one roof for worshiping, are sharing one uh, village for their common good. There is somebody who asked Imam Babali not to do that or not to accept the facilitation that is facilitated for Imam Babali because Imam Babali become the winner of International Human Rights Defenders Award in 2013, Jealousy Guru. That's why I think I need to say something, and that is what I'm saying. Human rights is far beyond, far more than what they call same-sex marriage, what they call, uh, how to call it again, gay. Our human rights is far beyond that but they forgot or they don't know. The Almighty God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, said in the Holy Quran, give the right to each and every one the right he deserves to be given. Being a, an idol worshiper, being a gay, being whatever he is, he's a human being. He has what he deserves. Whatever crime he commit, he should be treated as a human being. Even if the, the criminal kills somebody, he should be arrested, due process must be observed, and he must be treated as a human being. So being the case, I unfortunately find myself become the biggest victim of National Human Rights Commission because of my name, because of my faith, and I'm not the only Muslim that work for National Human Rights Country uh, Commission in different countries all over the world. This is what I have to say. Thank you very much.